It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. The mysteries of space that we explored in our cover story have long held a fascination for scientists and artists alike. Now, a composition that marries music and photography is bringing some of those mysteries down to earth. And Serena Altschul has saved us a front row seat. When British composer Gustav Holst wrote The Planets nearly a century ago, the way we imagined our solar system took on new life and grandeur. Inspired by astrology, not astronomy, the seven-movement orchestral suite brought shape and beauty to seven planets in our galaxy. Pluto, which hadn't yet been discovered, and Earth were left out. To this day, Holst's seminal work, recorded countless times, conjures up stunning images in our minds. This is music born to have pictures with it. But our imaginations can rest easy. Now, there are real and truly glorious visuals to accompany the score. Austrian conductor Hans Graf has partnered the Houston Symphony with nearby NASA to match the composition with art. Some music doesn't lend itself to it at all. Some music allows it and some music cries out for it. And the planets does just that. So in 2006, Graf and NASA began gathering pictures from space. What's so amazing about the cameras that we're putting in space are they're not the little five megapixel cameras that you can get at you know, Walmart. You know, these are very high tech, some of them quite large, very special lenses. Astronaut John Grunsfeld led NASA's side of the project. For the pictures that we get from our spacecraft of planets in our solar system, it's a real sense of incredible awe that how could they really be so beautiful? It was British filmmaker Duncan Copp's job to search through tens of thousands of the beautiful images and animations and tell a story. I'd go through them and pick the ones that I thought were most sort of aesthetically pleasing mm -hmm. and then cut them to the music. But all the moves had to be created separately. Oh. And this kind of resolution is just unbelievable. I mean, this is another world. That world has become a film that Hans Graf plays while conducting the orchestra. To create the perfect atmosphere for the 2100 concert goers, the symphony uses a massive 24-foot HD screen above the musicians to project the images. With the lights down low, the planets come to life. Oh, yeah. Hang on just a second. Oh, that's great. For some, it was the music. Others, the imagery that made opening night in Houston the hottest ticket in town. Enjoy the show. Thank you so much. John Grunsfeld was on hand to return the maestro's personal baton after taking it with him to space. Then it was showtime. You can't have a stronger music, more testosterone in orchestra music than in mass. Jupiter is so grand. Yeah, the less ugly brother of Mars.
forward. Visually Saturn, you can't beat it. No human imagination could figure out such a beautiful thing. The concert left many audience members in awe. Well, I don't know. I thought it was wonderful tonight. The music just brings it alive. We almost, you know, you felt like you were there. After four shows in Houston and a performance at New York's Carnegie Hall, the symphony takes the show to Europe later this year. For this 21st century classical music experience, it seems the planets are aligning. If you listen to Holst the Planets and close your eyes, you, know, you can imagine all kinds of you know, far out scenes. You have the journey. The real images are even better. He should know.